back of the set. We're looking at Lucario versus Richter. Oh, Richter? Okay. I never see Richters. And I don't think I've seen um, Dark Falcon in a really long time. Yeah, I, I, I remember his Victor, though. His Victor is really good. Oh, well, clearly, here he's in worse in winner's corners, but like, in winner's quarters. But I remember his his Richter is actually really good at, at doing these, um, using the projectiles as much as he can in order to capitalize oh, on, like, edge. Okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, my bad, my bad. Yeah, no, BB was able to catch that tether recovery and mm -hmm. only 6% on the first stock. Oh, I think this Dark Falcon have a jump. Okay. Oh no. Vivi's just absolutely destroying uh, Dark Falcon off the ledge mostly, where Richter really isn't as strong as he is, um, as, as strong as he is then when he's on the stage or the main platform. Yeah, Vivi tried, Vivi tried to get uh, the exact same scenario, but just not quite. Oh, I really love the stalling with the down air by Vivi. Ooh, great yeah, platform be coverage by Dark Falcon right yeah. there, using both the, the boomerang and the up tilt. Ooh, holy water on deck for BB. Yeah, definitely has to be careful. Whenever um, Darth, Darth Falcon is able to get BB up in the air using those up airs, definitely has to be careful because that's kind of something that uh, Richard's really good at. He has a really long range because of that, uh, the, the whip. What's this called? Morningstar? Uh, Vampire Killer. Vampire Killer. Morningstar is from Castlevania, it's my bad. <laughs> at the anime, specifically. But Ooh, right, right, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Oh, take this. Oh, trying to read a, a maybe like a roll of the, on the other way. Um, not really good for Dark Falcon because had he gotten that, that read er, with the Force Smash better, he would have taken off very Vivi's first like amazing game a little bit more, a little easier for himself. But now Vivi's now has really high rage and he, and he, and he has aura. So, really precarious situation for Dark Falcon at the moment. Of course, you're catching the jump out of shield. Okay, bye. Up air mm -hmm. will be taking Dark Falcon's second stock, and Vivi still with 124% of aura. Oh, and the damage just keeps coming. That F smash might have just killed him. All right, but there we go. Look, these are the great ledge, the ledge trapping options that Richter mains do are able to capitalize on using the holy water, using the, I want, I don't know, an axe, and using the whip in order to keep his opponent at bay off the ledge. So about Richter's you know, ledge trapping, you know, the mm -hmm. holy water is the staple, but I feel like against Lucario, it's just not as effective. Well, <laughs> say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> to be I fair. I was saying that because Vivi's use of extreme speed is so good that he doesn't go to ledge nearly as mm -hmm. often as other characters. You're, you're absolutely right. I think at the, in that instance, he was right on the ledge and there was a red tomahawk in the air, so he was forced to do either a roll in or a neutral uh, get up. Right, now 83% on Dark Falcon. It is looking definitely rough. Only 12% on Vivi's second stock. Oh, or sphere pressure. Good patience by Dark Falcon, not uh, not rolling in or anything like that. Yeah, right now Lucario, even though he's at a lowish percentage in terms of not having enough aura to really rack up a lot of damage, he usually does. You know, Dark Falcon is a really high is that a really dangerous situation. And try and get that uh, aura, aura sphere pressure and then uh, into a palm, uh, into a force bomb, but not quite getting anything, anything extreme speed. A little more aura sphere pressure, which honestly, Vivi is really good at ca at, at, uh, at ca trapping people in that. Uh, whoa, that was really anticlimactic kind of <coughs> ending. It was so fast. It was. I, I, th I think he thought they were done for a second. I'm not gonna lie. No, he, no, he, I think it's because they don't have the tablets. They're, they stand up to oh announce God. their bans. I just realized they also don't have tablets. Yep. Okay, so so we are, we're all naked in terms of no tablets. Basically. Got it. We, we've been driven back to the Stone Age. <laughs> we really are. We return to monkey is where we're <laughs> at right now. Bum, 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 All right, and it looks like uh, Dark Falcon is still hovering over that Richter. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh, yeah, I see. I think he was forced to <coughs> neutral get up. All right, it looks like Town and City is where we're going to be going for game two. TNC is a very good stage for Lucario, uh, mostly because of the, the, the course of platforms do change a lot, but Lucario can kind of work on all three of them. Now, what this stage does do, do good for Richter, in my opinion, is the extra platforms for him to kind of escape a lot of uh, Lucario's um, combo stars and that aura pressure he's, that Vivi's so good at kind of doing on his opponents. And also placing ho uh, Holy Water whenever he needs to. Yeah, I also uh, appreciate it 
we're definitely seeing already, Dark Falcon is placing a lot of these cross boomerangs in such a way that they kind of cover head height and they mm -hmm. still cover the platform. So I think, you know, catching platform, like really trapping your opponents on the platforms, I think is maybe what Dark Falcon is going to be looking for right now. Ooh, great parry. Oh, that was a scary axe. That absolutely would have been Vivi's first stock. Yeah, right now, kind of doing a, a little bit of trying. I think that both play. Oh my gosh, see that? Oh, maybe those. Not. Actually, sending Vivi straight up instead of out at all. Oh no, you air dodge. Oh. Great spacing by Dark Falcon, not uh, not getting hit by the down air there. Able to hold on to his first stock still. But Vivi at a lot of rage right now, a lot of aura. Back air, gonna be taking it. Great, uh, great spacing by Dark Falcon. I do want to compliment Dark Falcon's able ability to kind of cover all three ledge get up options very well. And because, but also I also want to say Vivi doing also really well at finding the perfect opportunity to come back on the stage between the three rotations of Holy Water, uh, the Cross, and the Axe. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, not able to get anything off of that down here there. Dark Falcon stuck at the ledge. Vivi's yeah, Vivi's trying to get that that pressure on him, and he just he was just at, at the ledge, like waiting, like what could he do in this kind of situation? Cross blue rings coming back. Not not gonna be finding Vivi right there. Mm -mm. <coughs> Vivi, I think uh, pretty pretty doing a really good, oh air dodging right into the holy water. Yeah, that could have that could have been huge damage for Dark Falcon, but wasn't able to get the extension right there. All right. I really like the use of the throwing the cross boomerang in the other direction so that it goes further when it comes back. It covers a little bit more space than if Dark Falcon just threw the cross boomerang at the ledge. Okay, here we go. It's to take this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, maybe just not able to find his footing wow. right there. The uh, extreme speed into the holy water. Dark Falcon still on his uh, first stock. Vivi now coming up on his third with no aura online. Granted, though, he <laughs> Dark Falcon is at 140, so not going to be super hard to kill. Yeah, this is, this is a really dangerous situation for Vivi. I mean, high percentage taking, taking that first stock, but right now Vivi's at just a low percentage at the moment that I, I don't know if he's able to make it just on this stage specifically. Had he been able to go back on PS2 or even small battlefield, I think it'd been a different turnout. Which I think if this go this will go game three, possibly, um, that's the situation he wants to avoid himself getting on like TNC again. Because clearly, that's this is where Dark Falcon really um, is able to capitalize on a lot of Victor's strengths. You know, using all three projectiles of his as well as the whip and the range of the whip to kind of keep his opponents, you know, trapped in a very serious and dangerous situation. Ooh, great movement by Vivi, just barely threading the needle right there with the Aura Sphere. A little bit of forward air from the ledge can be getting Dark Falcon some space. Oh, oh my gosh. barely not able to get the back air. Wow, love the little <laughs> the stalemate they have over there the, for a second. The neutral. This is peak neutral. <laughs> oh, not able to catch the jump from the ledge. I actually really like Vivi's use of crouch right there, even though Lucario doesn't have the greatest crouch in the world, but, you know, it was able to get him just a little bit of space. There we go, the Aura Sphere. <clears throat> now, here we go. Now, I, I usually I would say, you know, Vivi is in, in disadvantage. However, Lucario is now a playable character <laughs> with Aura uh, all the way up at 87%, and here we go, racking up a bunch of damage off oh. her on Dark Falcon. Gain that Aura that Sphere, and the, oh my... That was so good by Vivi. Uh, he read so far in advance that Dark Falcon was going to try and land on the platform there and just was able to cover it with the Aura Sphere. That was so good by Vivi. And now we're looking at an even game. Dark Falcon getting sent off stage. Oh, and, and the first time he's going to take it. Yep. Dodge in. Amazing comeback by Vivi. Amazing comeback. I mean, again, that's why I said this This wouldn't be much of a disadvantage if Lucario wasn't already at, a, like, you know, High power, high aura, and it was only getting high. It was, it was at eighty percent when he, when uh, Dark Falcon came with his last stock. Yeah, was that a was that a reverse three stock actually? So I think Dark Let's Falcon. See. Yes, yeah, it, was. it was reverse three stock for VV. Yep. Um, 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 um. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right here was a really good aura sphere with like. The, the, I think he was trying to attack, a neutral get up, like attack. 
Yeah, VB uh, went in and ran right back out to maybe bait out an option from Dark Falcon. But yeah, mm -hmm. just uh, getting getting like clipped by the Aura Sphere charge is one of the scariest things in the world to be on the receiving end of. Especially because with the high aura, it charges even faster. So it's it's humongous in like five seconds. It is. So it's so it's just a dangerous situation to be in, especially if when you're when you were uh, Dark Falcon.